Top 10 Strangest Things Scientists Can't Explain Science is powerful. For years, it played a vital role in the most astonishing discoveries and even the greatest inventions. But there is still much that science can't explain. When people see or hear something out of the ordinary, science finds itself trying to validate if something is true or just a result of a very creative imagination or, perhaps, curious individuals who just wish to create a stir, especially online, for fun. However, there are events, architectures, and even wonders that have baffled scientists that, up until today, they have been trying to find the answers as to why something occurred, built, or exists. Hi everyone! Welcome back to the Top 10 channel. Today, we are counting down our top picks for the top 10 strangest things scientists can't explain. For this list, we are going to look at extraordinary architectures around the globe for thousands of years ago that have been built even without the existence of tools to technically complete the job. We will be looking at outstanding places that have been carved from stones, built in caves, built in a cliff, and more. Although their existence has been a proof of rich history, their backstories are mystifying as it's unclear. Before we proceed on our list, do not forget to hit the red subscribe button and ring the notification bells to get updates of our new uploads every week. Alright, if you're already ready to know these places, just sit back, relax, and check out our list. At number 10, Sravana Belagola, Ancient City, India Sravana Belagola is a town in Chanaraya Patna of Hassan District, Karnataka, India. It is one of the most important pilgrimage destinations in Jainism. However, other than that, the place is visited because of the ornate temples carved from rock. There, you'll find that all of the most impressive temples have one particular feature in common, stone columns. Building the columns using modern technology would not be a problem, although it would be challenging and it would take a long time to complete the build, but with the tools and technology at our disposal today, it would not be impossible to make. What's not clear though and what's inexplicable is that how builders were able to create them 1,000 years ago where tools such as chisels and lathes were non-existent at the time. And looking at how the columns were made and how the intricate designs were carved to each column, experts are still uncertain as to what tools were made to do such artistry. Every visitor who comes here is struck by the quality of the stonework and how smooth the polished surfaces are to touch even after all these years. At number 9, Kofun, Japan In Japan, the Japanese have ancient mysterious structures that even their brightest minds could not fully explain as to what these structures are for, the Kofuns. They are ancient monoliths designed like a keyhole and don't exist anywhere else in the world. Therefore, it's a particularly Japanese phenomenon. The word kofan directly translates to ancient mount tomb, which only explain a part of their purpose. These keyhole-like figures have been puzzling everyone including scientists as to why they are specifically shaped as such. Who designed it? What purpose do they serve? The eye of the keyhole is believed to be where the grave of royal descent is located. The purpose of the remainder of the site is unclear, but they were enormous. The most famous among all the Kofan is the Dyson Kofan. It is 1,500 feet long, 900 feet wide, and over 100 feet tall. That's a lot of space and no one knows what it is for. Fun fact, there are pictures of similar structures that have been observed on Mars. So, it's either a Japanese was the first to travel to Mars, or this is soon going to be another unresolved extraterrestrial theory. At number 8, Yachilan, Chiapas, Mexico Almost everything about the ancient Mayans is mysterious. Even in these modern times, some people still believe that the Mayan calendar foretells the coming of the apocalypse. There are multiple Mayan sites and among all that are still standing today. Yachilan is the one that will fill you with the greatest sense of wonder. Based close on the Guatemalan border, it's a place of crumbling temples, 
howler monkeys, and dense lush rainforest. Since the site is so remote, the only way to reach Yachilan is by boat. But perhaps because it is so remote that it's been so well preserved. Nowhere will you find a better looking set of Mayan hieroglyphs or more complete stone lintels. Much of what we know about the Mayan language and culture comes from this site. The Yachilan has been a witness of Mayan self-sacrifice rituals and other religious beliefs, but there are still words and drawings on the site which seem to defy translation or interpretation. This was a holy place to the Mayans and the sense of that sacredness still exists within the walls. At number 7, Kailasa Temple, Elora Caves, Maharashtra, India Declared by UNESCO as a world heritage, the Kailasa Temple in India is the single largest monolithic building in the world. The huge temple was carved out from a single piece of rock, or shall we say carved from a cave by hand by the ancient Hindus. It took them 20 years, which is 1,300 years ago, to complete the laborious work. This temple was rumored to have been ordered by a Hindu king who prayed to the god Shiva to save his wife from sickness. A scale model of the Kailasa temple has also been built in South India and this one goes by the name of the Vetuvan coil. It's roughly the same shape as the Kailasa temple and bears many of the same markings although this one has scraped out of the hillside as opposed to being carved into a mountain. There are rumors that the Vetuvan coil was intended to be a prototype of a test build for Kailasa temple. But why didn't they finish building one before starting the other? At number 6, Baalbek, Lebanon Being one of the most famous unexplained monoliths in the world and knowing that even scientists have almost no idea how any of it was built, the Baalbek in Lebanon was named by UNESCO as a world heritage. From the Temple of Bacchus to the Temple of Jupiter, virtually every stone at Baalbek should have been impossible to put into place 10,000 years ago. And yet, all of it is still standing and no one even knows or, at least, can come into terms as to who have built it. Most historians credit the ancient Romans with the work, but some feel that the enormous foundation stones were laid by the lost civilization and the Romans took advantage of their work by building temples on top of them. Each of the foundation stones has a weight of more than 1,000 tons and yet was seemingly cut with surgical precision and then dragged uphill from a nearby quarry to reach their current location. There were even larger stones back at the quarry which weighs more than 1,600 tons, but it seems that even the ancient builders were having their difficulty in transporting the stones. At number 5, Mangap Kale, Crimea up in the mountains of Crimea, you'll find an ancient cave city known as Mangap Kale. This is a little-known place with a mysterious history, part of which relates to the long-lost kingdom of Theodoro and early Christian principality. The caves effectively made a natural fortress. Reaching them would be a difficult task even for the people who live there and an attacking army would have had almost no chance. Most of the historians concur that it was the Byzantine Emperor who ordered the first of the buildings to be erected in the Crimea sometime around the year 500. The first building was called Doros, which was still in use by the 13th century as part of the Crimean Gothia. 200 years later, the whole kingdom of Theodoro fell to the Ottomans. They purged Menhop Kale with fire but the Turks immediately rebuilt it and gave it the name we use today. Only Crimea became Russian territory during the 18th century. When the last of the occupants left, it's been standing empty ever since. All we have to remember them by today are the ancient frescoes that cover the rock. At number 4, Kaunos Dalian, Turkey Kaunos was a significant port city close to Dalian in Turkey. It's a forgotten, desolated place and has been existing since approximately the year 1500. For 2,000 years before that though, it was a thriving and beautiful city where multiple different cultures lived harmoniously side by side. Perhaps the most striking archaeological features of Kaunos are the ornate tombs that were carved out of the rock. 
This is a masonry skill that's been almost completely forgotten in the modern world. The multicultural aspect of the site might be explained by the fact that the ownership of the city changed many times over the years because of its porch and its position. It was a very desirable location for trade, and so all the dominant powers of the era wanted to control it, most of them got to take a turn. The Romans had the longest single rule taking control around 2,100 years ago and holding it until the 1300s when it was conquered by the Turks. At number 3, Urn Tomb, Petra, Jordan Of all the ancient tombs of Petra, Jordan, the famous Urn Tomb makes the most visually impressive site. Originally, the tomb was created for just one inhabitant, King Malchus II, who died just under 2,100 years ago. Although the interior of the tombs appears to have been decorated with complex patterns, this is all the natural formation of the rock at the site. There's plenty of space inside. The tomb measures 60 feet by 68 feet. Perhaps that's what attracted the Byzantines there 1,500 years ago. They came and converted it into a cathedral by flattening the rock and adding two layers of vaults. Looking up high, between the pillars inside the urn tomb, you'll find the three openings in the rock which can't be accessed from the ground. They're all tombs, and one of them still has its closing stone in place. At number 2, Kipinas Monastery, Greece It takes a very brave traveler to visit the site of the Kipinas Monastery in Greece. The monastery was built in the year 1212, it's carved directly into the site of the Calorites village on Greater Mount Tizumurka and is directly above a sheer drop. The location was chosen to be deliberately hard to access. The monks positioned themselves here so that they could easily defend themselves from raiders. We bet all monks haven't had any issue with heights. Back when it was inhabited, the monastery was dedicated to the Assumption of the Virgin Mary. Nobody is living there anymore although the fixtures and fittings are all carefully maintained and cleaned. Rather charmingly, if tourists want to come and take a look around the Capinas Monastery for themselves, they have to wander into the closest village and ask for the key from the owners of the coffee shop. If you have no problems traveling the very narrow road, it would be one of the most beautiful places to visit in Greece. At number 1, Konark Sun Temple, India We've already seen some impressive stone temples dedicated to Hindu gods. The Konark Sun Temple in India is another fine example. Experts believe that the temple was built somewhere around the year 1300. The whole site is an architectural marvel. It was deliberately built to resemble an ancient chariot, and there are several enormous carvings of the chariot wheels on the walls. During its heyday, the temple was 200 feet tall at its highest point and featured stone renditions of horses to go with the chariots. Three different types of stones were used to build Konark, chlorite, laterite, and candelite. However, what's really surprising is that these types of stones do not exist in the quarries around the temple. The stones must have been transported in from elsewhere using the nearby river. Architects, archaeologists, and other great minds can't really point out why the ancient builders have to resort to such effort when they can just simply use the rocks that are closest to the site. The temple was originally 200 feet tall, but its recent record shows it is now only 100 feet tall. What happened? Well, we don't know. So, do you agree on our list today? Do you know other strange things that scientists are having a hard time explaining it? Let us know by leaving your comments below. Alright, that is it for our list today. If you like our video today, please hit like and share this with your friends. Do not also forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to get updates of newly uploaded informative videos from our channel. What top 10s would you like to see next? Let us know by leaving your comments below. Thank you for watching. See you next time.